Welcome to the Daily App Show. Today we have an application for your iPhone as well as your Android devices called Milebug. Open up Milebug and it brings us into our trips. What we're going to do now is go ahead and hit the plus button to begin filling out a new trip. That's going to bring us into the add trip feature where we can choose from a favorite or frequent trip. This is something that we set up earlier. This is a trip that I might be taking maybe two or three times a week, depending upon my work or place of business. And this is going to allow me to auto populate some of the fields based upon a trip that I frequently do. Notice I can sort them up in the top of the field. I'm going to go ahead and choose to do this um, custom. We're going to go ahead and go completely blank here. So the start, I'll we'll go ahead and tap here to choose our start time. And it's currently defaulting to our current time, but this one I'm probably going to be leaving around 2 o'clock, so we'll go ahead and just swipe down here to 2. We'll tap save. It's going to be our start time. Now we're going to choose our business. What's the business that we're actually going to be driving for? Now notice in here we have some business one, charity one, medical, personal, or I've even added in my own business. Now these are predefined custom fields. If you need to add in a, your own business or a charity or a medical office, you can do so at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and add in a business. I'm going to give it a business name. Now that this is a doctor's office, we're going to go ahead and tap on the type and rate. I'm going to choose medical and notice it's filling in and populating some cents per mile. These are going to be the IRS standards for 2015 that are going to be saved in the presets that we'll show you later on. Go ahead and tap save. And now that my business is the medical, I'm going to choose destinations. So I have destinations for this business. I'll go ahead and type in one. And we'll go ahead and delete destination one. So I'll tap save there. We have two destinations. On purposes, we're going to go ahead and add in some purposes. This is where maybe you're dropping off medical supplies or you're picking up supplies or anything like that. Whatever the purpose of your trip is going to be for later on future use, you're going to want to go ahead and set here in the presets. Go ahead and tap save. And now we've got our business ready to go. So we'll tap save. And now we have our doctor's medical that's been added here to our businesses. So I'll tap save and it's going to choose doctor's medical. Now we'll choose our origin. Origin will be doctor's medical since that's what we're leaving from our place of business. And then we're going to go ahead and choose a destination. And notice that all these origins and destinations are also places that I added when I was filling in my preset for the business. On a purpose, these are the two purposes that I filled out earlier. But again, we can also add in a new one. And now I'm going to choose my vehicle. So this is going to be the vehicle I'm driving. There's two in here currently, but I'm going to be adding in a third vehicle. So I'll go ahead and type it in here. Now my start odometer, I'm going to go and fill it out for the vehicle. And my end odometer, I haven't gone on the trip yet, so I don't really need to fill it out. We'll tap save. So now that I'm ready to go, I have expenses and notes down here. So in case later on when I come back in here, if I had to pay for parking or a toll, I can add that into my expenses and add in any notes later on. So I'm going to go tap GPS tracking and it's going to find my current location and we'll tap start tracking. And now we tap OK and then we go ahead and come back out and then tap save. Now it brings me back out to the trips menu where we can see that our trip is currently in red, letting me know that that trip is currently in progress. Now what I do, go ahead and drive, do your whole route, do your trip, and then when you're done, come back into here. What we'll do is do GPS tracking, tap stop tracking, and you're going to be able to see a route and a line around the map of where you've gone. And it's going to automatically calculate and add in your odometer. But being that I didn't really go anywhere, I'll come in here and add in my own end odometer. We'll tap calc, and it's going to calculate, and then tap save, and now I can see the actual return that I'm going to get from this trip. And as far as the trip goes, let's just save my expenses. I had to add a new expense. We'll just type in $5 for parking and tolls, or I can even add in my own category. So tap save. We'll come back out and now tap save. And notice that our trip is no longer in red, letting me know that everything is current. Now what I can do up in the top left hand corner, if I tap up there, it's going to allow me to manage my trips. I can add in custom fields and I can even delete trips from date ranges or all trips. And then there's also the sync feature with Milebug Cloud where you can have the storage and backup 
and cross-device data syncing, which is going to be great if you have an iPhone and an Android phone. If you have two different devices, it's going to allow you to do cross-platform syncing. Or if you had multiple iPhones or anything like that, you can sync your information back and forth. And then the presets, as I was talking about earlier, you can come in here and these are going to be types, rates, businesses, vehicles, and expense categories. You can change all of your default presets by coming in here. And if in case your business pays out more than the typical IRS rate, you can even come in here and change your rates for all the businesses. And then you can also add in all of your businesses, destinations, and purposes. So these are presets that you can use for the trips. And then in the reports tab, here's where you're going to report all of your expenses to your boss, manager, or your tax person. You can choose to export them as an HTML file, CSV, or choose both. Select your date ranges, select all your filters and options. So I can sort by vehicle or business, and even on the second or third options as well. When you have all that filled out, tap send. It's gonna populate an email for you and attach all of your attachments, whether it be a CSV file or an HTML file. And then you can go ahead and send that to whoever is needing that. And then there's the one last field for the backup where we do iTunes file sharing as a source of our backup or choose Mildbug Cloud for a backup as well. And then the About tab will give us the current version number for Mildbug we can share with our friends and also view help in the blog. So once again, this application is called Mildbug. If you like it, be sure and pick it up in the App Store or Google Play Store today.